shoulder when they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle. We just heard it, and that means it's time for football at CenturyLink Field. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Seattle Seahawks. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team who wins. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It's a gain of six. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round, complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Gain of 10. And the I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. They're going to look to throw. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. A gain of 14. First down, Chargers. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Complete to number eight. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And the Chargers first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. The pass. Three yards the game there, second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups. And they're he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. It becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, 
We're gonna see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. At the 32-yard line. And they give this time to the tailback. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Tackle made at the 44 yard Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. It's second and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Yards to go. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is gonna have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. At the 44 yard line. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Another carry for Give him a yard down to the 43. Down at the 43 yard no doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. First down line at the 34 here on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there, pushes this to fourth down. Intended for number 86, incomplete. The Seahawks send out their punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Seven, Seahawks two. This is taken around the 12. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return way back at the 11. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. Out of the gun now on third down. Going to throw right side here, complete. 
Go time, baby! And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle! A big play there. 84 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. I mean, that, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So, and the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now the second down throw on target. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And it's third down. Back to throw here. Going right side here, and that's complete. He's at the 30, 10, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. touchdown. A big play there, 84 yards, and the Chargers are going to retake the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. The extra point up and good. And the lead is up to five. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 23-yard line. Back to throw now on second and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Scramble drill there, partner. Some teams have some pretty good rules for it. Others are just saying, make sure you work your way back into the sight lines of your quarterback, even if you take the play deep. And that's what they attempted to do on that one, unable to connect. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He's going to let this one go deep. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. The pass right 
intercepted by the Chargers. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets it down to the 32. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A six, yard six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's a throw out wide, complete to his running back right side. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Los Angeles. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the 9. 10 more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Again, he'll drop the throw. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. From three yards out, the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The point after is good, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, Sam. Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play big time result and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession the charger drive about to get going and you're under a minute to go here in the half field position not really in your favor but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range yeah you got the lead it's a, definitely a thought let's go ahead and try and increase it but at the same time i don't like the odds i don't like where they are in the field got the lead they've done well in the first half don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if 
to throw now on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll throw now on the final play. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. The 20. 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Most teams in the league hitting the three-quarter pole in the preseason. The whole league will be in action next Thursday night to wrap it all up. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff here to his running back. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. On the carry. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And three yards there takes him to the 45. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. But 22 is the line to gain here on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Makes the score Seahawks 26, Chargers 20. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. Now, I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've got The Charger drive about to get going. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. 
And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Got to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. The first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawk defense. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of nine, nine yards on the play and a first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 24. down, Los Angeles. Now back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. 16 yard line. It's a gain of a yard. And it's One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. And that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. 21. The Chargers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. He's at the 50. The 40. And they finally put it into this return. But not before he's all the way down to the 37. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get three down at the 34-yard line. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. the ball carrier. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said Keith. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. I'm 
I'm sure as a rookie, even though this is preseason, Charles, interceptions, you got to eat at you quite a bit. They certainly do, but here's the problem that he's confronted with. He's not the high draft pick. He's not seen as the next guy. He's got to prove himself to everyone and get noticed. So maybe instead of taking the safer throw, you press it a little bit, try to push it downfield, try to fit into a tight window, and sometimes interceptions result. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. It's a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. 20! And he will finally be taken out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Chargers have once again taken the lead. The Chargers. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play... Oh, no, he lost the football, and the Seahawks have recovered. The two-point attempt is no good. Do you have one of those charts that tells you to go for two or go for one? I don't. I know you do, but I don't care what the chart says there. you got to kick it, right? I, I agree totally, because somewhere the chart's going to... Something's going to pop out of the chart and say, hey, man... Just kick the extra point here. You're in good shape. I think they were chasing points there when they didn't need to. Yeah, try to get a little bit greedy. Take the lead in the fourth quarter. Now they still trail by one. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. Then we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. They'll set up the throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Give him seven on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's a second and seven. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Past the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought? That had to be 
Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. <laughs> Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. Point after, right down the middle. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Seahawks take over first and ten. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's completed four passes so far in this game. The issue is two of them have been to the guys in the wrong color jersey. So I'd say there's a little bit of clouded vision. Right? Sometimes he sees clearly, sometimes he doesn't. I know on the sideline they'll be going over things and talk about what the coverages are and what they're seeing. So you used to look at the snapshots, now you look at the Microsoft Surface Pro. He's got to analyze what he's seeing and be more accurate with the ball. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. A loss of nine on the play. Brings up third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Back to throw. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter because you know the pass rush is getting after him and they get upfield get that great push and this will be caught touchdown so in the final minute here now a two-point conversion will tie the game coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass and teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game but they come back and make them later on they miss tackles right they miss making plays but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback and when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier they feel great about that guy and likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And this will make it into the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Chargers getting set to go. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Well, how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 38. Oh, some strong running. Oh, I don't matter. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I 
I get and appreciate that they wanted to go for the win, not play for overtime, but that's the cost right there. Not so sure their fans feel the same way as you when they just watch that ball get picked and taken the other way, and now they're down six. Looks like it's going to be a loss for them, an absolute catastrophe when they tried to be aggressive. take a seven-point lead now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the big six. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So the Chargers now down on the scoreboard. At time, a huge factor. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. So far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Intended for number 16, incomplete. It's now fourth down. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And again, this time for the tailback. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big eraser, or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy yeah, and use yeah. in those addition to the pencil. And those last forever. A long time, no doubt. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner.